Remix the way you connect with the new Mobitel Remix. Enjoy free M2M voice minutes, SMS data, fast minutes and 50% discounts on excess data and three fabulous add-on prepaid packages. Dial hash 649 hash to activate. Mobitel. We care. Always. If you're looking for a leasing company to make your wheels go round, with fast, friendly and hassle-free service. Together with flexibility and the best interest rates in town. Let us show you how we can make your world go round. People's Leasing Company. We're the number one in leasing because pleasing people is our number one priority. Welcome back to Benchmark. I'm Anushan Selvaraja and Business Confidence is up next. With me is the Managing Director of Nielsen Sri Lanka, Shaheen Kada. Now, Shaheen, the index is up this month, albeit marginally, since I last spoke to you. Now, does this mean that a sense of optimism is setting in within business circles? Uh, yes, uh, Anushan. I think the index is not just up. It's, uh, it's, it's grad slowly but surely uh, creeping up over the last five months. So, month on month in the last five months. We've seen an uh, we've seen an increase in uh, business confidence. Of course, it's much lower than the average uh, index which we saw in in the previous year. So it's still at a fairly low level, but it is creeping up gradually. And uh, the reasons uh, for this are really not so much of not so much based on uh, company performance in the past, but hope on the future. The hope that the economy and businesses are expected to improve in the next 12 months. Now, according to your poll results, there seems to be mixed sentiment as far as the economy is concerned. A uh, third of those polls say it will get better. Less than half believe things will remain the same. And 22% say that it could get worse. Now, could you elaborate on, uh, on the sensitivity that may have led to these results? Uh, Anushan, I think uh, we need to go back. So if you take the last three months, June, July, August, what we see is there is uh, increasing optimism that the economy will improve. For example, in, uh, in June... 14% uh, said the economy would improve. In July, it was 21%. In August, 32%. And if you look at the reverse of that, the percentage saying the economy wor will worsen, those numbers are also coming down very markedly. For example, 62% in June said the economy will worsen. In July, it was 42%. And in August, it was 22%. So overall, there is optimism about the economy. I think uh, also one needs to look at the reasons for this. I think the reasons are that the exchange rate has remained stable over the last four to five, three to four months at least. IMF have released their tranche of their long-term loan, the, file, the latest tranche. And also, I think there are development projects which are continuing. So, so, uh, so the business sector does feel that there is optimism uh, building in, in the economy once again. Shaheen, has the current energy crisis affected business sentiment? And if so, in what way? Yes, uh, energy crisis has obviously affected business sentiment. I mean, uh, when fuel prices go up, you know, we saw the BCI declining. Uh, and uh, one of the uh, issues, I think, on fuel prices also caused by the devaluation of the rupee. But going forward, this is an important area to keep a close eye on because West if Western economies start to recover, and have started ha and start having positive uh, GDP growth, there will be greater demand for oil. And therefore, the oil prices will start to increase. And uh, in that period, if the Lankan rupee does not strengthen, uh, if the rupee remains the same or the rupee gets devalued further, there will be a compounding uh, oil price increase. And this again would impact transport costs and inflation in Sri Lanka. So it's something that we have to keep an eye on. Uh, and uh, uh, I think the bet is that econo world economies will uh, recover, uh, and so we need to uh, we need to be able to cope with the situation um, of increasing oil prices. That was the managing director of Nielsen Sri Lanka, Shaheen Kada. After a short commercial break, we will be back with an expert view of Sri Lanka's macroeconomic landscape.
the prepaid broadband offer of the year. Now with every new connection, get free data up to 8 GB and 6 months validity for just 2012 rupees. Mobitel. We care. Always. If you're looking for a leasing company to make your wheels go around, with fast, friendly and hassle-free service, together with flexibility and the best interest rates in town. Let us show you how we can make your world go round. People's Leasing Company. We're the number one in leasing because pleasing people is our number one priority. The prepaid broadband offer of the year. Now with every new connection, get free data up to 8 GB and 6 months validity for just 2012 rupees. Mobitel. We care. Always. Welcome back to the show. Joining me now is economist with Standard Chartered Bank and LMD columnist Samantha Amarasinghe. Now, Samantha, inflation reached 9.5% by end of August, and yet the central bank appears confident that inflation will remain in single digits for the rest of the year. Now, do you agree with their predictions, or are they being overly optimistic given the current economic conditions? Yes, inflation is likely to remain in single digits for the rest of the year. On a point-to-point -point basis, we see it averaging around 9.5% uh, for the balance of this year, bringing the annual average uh, close to 8%. Um, much of the recent rise in inflation can be attributed to food inflation, um, with prices rising due to uh, drought-related supply constraints. Um, but uh, supply-side improvements in the north seem to have reversed this trend. And in fact, in August, we saw a 1.1% contraction in the food component, um, which is 41% uh, of the CPI basket. Uh, so looking ahead, we see the main risk to inflation um, as being non-food inflation due to the risk of higher oil prices. Um, it's a good sign that core inflation, uh, which excludes the most volatile components in the CPI basket, is decreasing. Uh, so overall, we don't think uh, that the central bank is being overly optimistic uh, on the inflation front. Now the trade deficit was 4.7 billion US dollars as at end June compared to 4.2 billion dollars by uh, June 2011. Now granted the monthly deficit has been under a billion dollars since December 2011. Uh, but the trade deficit has widened further. Now, in your opinion, what could have led to this outcome? Firstly, the trade deficit um, is in a far more precarious situation this year compared to last year. And uh, the policy tightening measures implemented by the central bank earlier this year, the uh, repeat depreciation and uh, the 18% lending cap, um, these two uh, measures definitely seem to be having the desired impact. And uh, that's why we are seeing the uh, monthly trade deficit at its lowest level in 18 months. Um, but that said, the trade deficit has widened further due to falling exports. I think we've seen about uh, three consecutive months of falling exports. And uh, despite imports, growth also showing a declining trend over the past couple of months. So this is uh, really what's uh, causing this outcome. What about the budget deficit? It stood at 4.1% of GDP as at end of May versus 29 of GDP over the same period in uh, 2011. What has uh, caused this increase? The rising budget deficit is largely on account of the increase in uh, current expenditure uh, due to higher and uh, front-loaded interest payments uh, which the government has been making and uh, also uh, due to revenue collection uh, falling short of targets. And uh, the slowdown in economic activity and also declining imports uh, seem to be adversely affecting uh, fiscal revenues. Um, I would also say in addition to this, the increased subsidies burden, uh, I believe an additional uh, 2.2 billion rupees has been allocated by the government due to the drought, um, is also likely to contribute to uh, further fiscal slippage. That was Economist with Standard Chartered Bank and LMB columnist Samantha Amarsinger. We hope you enjoyed the show and we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.